Well, the start of September means back to school for the students and another edition of Rhode Island Monthly for the rest of us. Here to tell us more about this month's issue is Associate Editor Jen McCaffrey. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome Thank back. Thanks Today for is the day all the schools Everybody's are back, back in session. Very fitting for, for this month's issue. And right off the bat, the 49 best high schools. That's what it says on the cover. Yep. Um, basically, we have a statistician every year who looks at um, different factors like test scores, um, student to teacher ratio, and um, sort of calculates um, every year, you know, what, what the different high schools and how they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's usually, um, you know, some changes every year, so it's, it's definitely something that people look to and just sort of considering communities to move to and things like that. Definitely, for those who have just moved to the state right. or to a different area, they're all ranked in here, so it gives you an idea of where they fall in line. You want the best for your kids, that's for sure. Absolutely. Or maybe if you went to a certain high school, it's always nice to, to peek through and see where they are now. Exactly, exactly. Um, the skills gap in Rhode Island and, and efforts to really help people find jobs, that's, that's mentioned in this issue as well. Yeah, um, that's obviously been a huge focus in the state and um, it's, you know, there are things going on at all different levels from teaching people how to code to teaching people um, English and even even um, one of the people that we talked to, it was sort of as simple as sort of going over his interviewing skills and his resume skills and you know just sort of making some small tweaks. He had you know he had the technical background, but it really mm -hmm. took you know just sort of working on some of the presentation skills to get him a job, and he did get a job, so that was great. Yeah, it's yeah. a great read, especially to to realize you know if you are fortunate to have a job. Some yes. of the struggles that other people are going through. Absolutely. Makes you value that that much more. Um, there's also a really interesting piece about insects yes. and species and, yes. and what the folks at URI are doing. Yeah, they're basically um, the pest patrol. And what they're doing is, um, you know, they're basically, it's, it's called um, biocontrol. And mm -hmm. basically they're bringing insects in to fight other insects. Like they're bringing in the, the predators of, the natural predators of other insects, but it's sort of a, you know, it's a, as long as, as long as they don't take over too. Right, just, exactly. Yeah. You think what, what could be good about exactly. bringing in more bugs. Right, <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, obviously, you know, they're scientists and they think this through before they, they do that. But, mm -hmm. you know, and it can be a big deal with these caterpillars. Obviously they destroyed, a, you know, a lot of trees in Rhode Island. And, you know, so, um, but yeah, they they are you know doing some really interesting work with that. And before we let you go, another honorable mention to for those yes. twelve nurses in yes. Rhode Island. Yeah, um, yeah, these these nurses were voted the best in the state by their peers. Mm -hmm. And um, we're having a big event to honor them at the Crown Plaza on September 22nd. So if people are interested in coming, um, they can get tickets at rmonthly.com. Great, awesome. So plenty to read in this month's issue. There are also some healthy tips too. You can kick off the school year right by picking up a copy of Rhode Island Monthly. The issue is available on local newsstands now. And like I said, it's also full of some great healthy tips. So in just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna be chatting with a local health coach inspired by that article in this month's issue.